So uh, Ruckus Networks is a, an enterprise vendor of wireless access points as well as wired switches. And what we have here is demonstration of our enterprise access points. Our enterprise access points range from the standard uh, Wi-Fi 4, but also more today, Wi-Fi 5 as well as Wi-Fi 6. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 is our the latest standard, which is based around the 802.11 standard. And um, what's interesting for us as a vendor is that last week we actually just passed the 20th anniversary of Wi-Fi in terms of existence. And we're celebrating Wi-Fi uh, as a whole for the industry. So um, here at the show, we have a set of access points. Uh, we have outdoor access points as well as indoor access points. But as a vendor, we're very good at innovating on that next new form factor of, it, of APs. And so at the show, we have also our mobile access points that are on display as well as our embeddable access points that are on display. Um, the mobile access point is actually a different form factor. Uh, it's actually catered inside of an indoor AP. But the mobile part of the backhaul is actually via LTE. And so we have a dual SIM redundant uh, failover SIM card that actually goes into our mobile access points that enable connectivity without wires on the back end. Now, that particular mobile AP access point is actually really good for transportation use cases. And so you can put a mobile access point, in this particular case, our M510 APs inside of buses, inside of emergency response vehicles, inside of trains, you know, vehicles that effectively are vehicles, right? They move. <laughs> yeah. So that M510 access point is actually a, a very interesting access point for these transportation use cases that are something that's new for Ruckus as well because we had that new AP. Uh, we also have a different access point which is called our E510. Uh, both of these access points, whether it's the M510 or E510, they were actually announced mid last year, but we started shipping in volume towards the second half. And that E510 AP is actually in the world's first embedded access point. And that embedded access point is really very well used for dense, highly deployed environments, specifically stadiums. So we built that AP specifically for our large stadium Wi-Fi deployments. And that stadium Wi-Fi deployments really are problematic because the space constraints are so tight that we need to build a miniaturized outdoor embeddable AP. And that miniaturized outdoor embeddable AP gets tucked underneath seats, get tucked in between the back of seats and the, uh, and the concrete uh, that sits right behind it. And because these space environments are so tiny, and also the sort of environmental factors that contribute to them, very, makes it very challenging to actually put the antennas directly inside the APs. What we've done is we've actually decoupled our antenna systems, which include our uh, patented Beamflex uh, technology. We separated that from the actual base of the APs themselves. And so we're able to tuck the APs behind of a chair, but then put the antenna subsystems actually separate to that. We have a great wireless network, but uh, the Wi-Fi network um, is only as good as the wired network behind it. And here we have at the show our ICX 7650s. The 7650 provides multi-gig e support with 100 gig e. Both the switches as well as our access points are well supported and managed by a common console which is our smart zone network control. So, you know, Wi-Fi 6 is the new wireless uh, Wi-Fi specific standard for the industry and the ratification of it is going to be handled in 2019. Testing and compliance will happen at the end, towards the end of 2019 this year and our APs are ready to go. We have our first R730, which we announced last year, uh, and we started shipping uh, this particular AX-specific, 802.11AX AP, uh, towards the second half of last year. Uh, this is an access point that we're calling really a converged access point because not only does it have Wi-Fi, uh, the latest standard, which is Wi-Fi 6, uh, but it also has our support of BLE and Zigbee directly in this access point. This 
AP or converged access point supports the ability to support, of course, connectivity to Wi-Fi endpoints, Wi-Fi endpoints and Wi-Fi devices, which are, whether it's based around 802.11ac or AX, uh, when they come into the market. But we also have the ability to support IoT devices as well. And so Zigbee and BLE devices, whether they be door locks, or whether they be uh, L uh, Zigbee L LED lights, uh, uh, all of these devices end up being enabled to be able to be supported by one enclosure, one box that someone can actually hang within their environment and support the connectivity of Wi-Fi endpoints as well as IoT endpoints.